All right, on April 4th, last year, 2018, I saw, come on, focus, focus, ah, Isle of Dogs, Ready Player One in 3D, oh no, wait, it was standard, right, yeah, I think it was, I don't remember, and Pacific Rim Uprising, so, Isle of Dogs is a Wes Anderson flick. If you're not familiar with his work, you should check him out. If this tickets to, if this would focus. There we go. Good boy. Good phone. You get a treat tonight. So, <laughs> so Isle of Dogs was really good, actually. This is phenomenal. Um, albeit, uh, let me see. If you don't understand Japanese... This is a problem for you, because there were no subtitles for it. Although, if you go to your local movie theater, every theater has it now. Um, they have assisted listening devices, or ALD, that you can ask for, for, you know, closed caps while you're watching the film. Um, see, that's one, like, this was a really good movie, though. But with the closed caps, my thing is, I wish there was a closed captions theater built into every theater, like a couple sections of theater should have that, because I can't stand that at all. It drives me nuts when I go and see a movie and there's a bunch of kids talking, they don't shut the fuck up and I can't hear what they're saying on the screen, even though it's booming. The kids are loud as hell. <sighs> so yeah, this was really good. This blew me away. I didn't know what to expect, because I never heard of it. I saw the poster, I was like, hmm, that looks really good. It has an all-star cast. I don't know who in the cast is, because I forgot. Um, I did rent it a few months back. I think it was last year I rented it, so I could re-watch it. Because I wanted to see what they were saying, and I found out. So, this was really rewarding. Damn good movie. Ten. It's also sad, too, but it's really good as well. Ready Player One. This was the highlight of 2018. Definite highlight. This movie was the bomb. Awesomely fucking cool. Total cockadoodle titty shits material right here. Way in the cockadoodle titty shits tier. Tier, I should say. Definitely up in the god tier of movies as well for me. This... Straight up 10. The references, the plot, the characters, the premise, all of it. Every little bit. Fucking beautiful. I'm pissed I missed this in D-Box. Oh, I'm so mad I missed it in D-Box. But it was so worth it, though. I mean, it sucked that I missed it, but it was still good to see it. Because this really blew me away. Like, I had never had so much fun in my life. I mean, I was in tears when this was over. Oh, it was so good. And Pacific Rim Uprising, this was good, however, um, oof, I got a belch and it's stuck. Uh, there we go, much better. This was good, but, um, it was, it felt like it was condensed and a lot was cut out of it. So that kind of, it was kind of a turn off for me. When I saw it, like, when I finished it, I was like, oh, this is really fucking awesome. But at the same time, there was a lot that was cut out of it, in my opinion. Like, they tied up all the loose ends a little too easily for me. Like, if they had given, uh, I'm gonna get this wrong, I know I will. I want to say that girl's name is Miko. Because that sounds right, but I'm not sure. Or whatever her name is. I'm just going to go with Miko. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. I'll check when I come back. <laughs> um, yeah, her death, that was kind of... Oh, spoiler. Yeah, her death was kind of abrupt, which was kind of a turnoff for me. So, yeah. Everything else was good. Um, 
I wished it was longer. I wished it hadn't been so short. Um, what else? I did enjoy the plot twist. That was good. Yeah, the plot twist for this was good. I hope there's a third film, but I don't know yet. Or even a Netflix series would be cool as hell. Animated Netflix series would be good. That would be a lot better. Because everybody knows if you decide to do a trilogy film series, it is hard as fuck to make the sequel live up to the original's premise. And it, it's crazy. It's hard to do. I wish there was a Ready Player 2. I really do. I wish they would do a sequel for this that has, you know, uh, future stuff in it and whatnot. And, you know, more updated, up to date. Like, no, it has 90s references and early 2000s references and stuff. That would make it a lot of fun. So, for all these films, so, 10, 10, and I'll be fair, 6.9 out of 10. Because this was, this was good, but damn, if they didn't, like, it was chopped short, and I hate that. That's why when I do my writing, like, I try to expand as much as I can, but also make it cohesive enough that you understand what's going on. Without oversaturating it. <laughs> like my story. Um, like my Star Wars story that I've been talking about for so long. Uh, handwritten. It's 55 pages. The last part of it anyway. And typed up. Right now I'm sitting at. Uh, 130. Almost. But I haven't even gotten past the first six pages yet. So yeah. Lots of filler, lots of build-up and stuff, panning and stuff, and expanding, you know. So, would I recommend these to friends? Yes. My one friend watched this this morning, and he said it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, me and him go back and forth over films. It's funny, because he hates this. I love it. <laughs> So I get on him about shit. The other day I got on him about, uh, he's, he posted about how Jared Leto's Joker, no, he was talking about Suicide Squad and Jared Leto's Joker. He said, that movie sucked and that Joker sucked. And he said, Jack Nicholson, I was like, I was a smart ass. So I said, Jack Nicholson sucks ass as Joker. And I put a barf emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, inside jokes between us. I love it. So what I recommend is to friends, obviously. What I recommend it to you, yeah. Duh, try them out. Rent them all. <laughs> you know, if you don't like, you know, fantasy, if you don't like warfare, if you don't like, you know, cult classic references and stuff, not for you. If you like all that stuff that I mentioned, this is for you. You know, it never hurts to give something a try, you know. There's people out there who haven't tried shit yet. And, you know, they're just now learning. So, you know, it never hurts. You know, it's all what you like and don't like. Uh, if you don't like Wes Anderson, not for you. If you don't like Steven Spielberg, not for you. If you don't like, uh... John Boyega... Scott Eastwood. Uh, I can't remember who else was in the film. There was somebody else in the film that was really important. I don't remember who the fuck it was. I don't know. Um, yeah, not for you. <laughs> if you don't like... Uh, I don't know. If you don't like any of this kind of shit, if you can't handle it, it's not for you, you know? It's... Sorry. <laughs> there are some things people like and some people don't like. So, I'll be back with the next to last video. Stay tuned.